Hello everyone and welcome back to the last part of this tutorial. As you can see in the previous part we added uh, this uh, gear uh, behind uh, the clock and also we added these flying objects uh, that you can see in here and also I added uh, some more uh, in between videos but I will make sure to upload this PSD so you can check all the things that I added in between videos. Alright, so uh, for this uh, last part we're gonna add uh, some adjustments so we will make this uh, image look a little bit better all right so i'm gonna start with adding uh, some uh, lens flares to uh, this image so i'm gonna create a, a new layer and i will call it flare and uh, i will fill it with black so i'm gonna make sure that uh, my foreground color is black and then i will press alt backspace and as you can see this will fill it with black and then i will go to filter and I will choose render and I will go for lens flare in here and as you can see we have uh, a lot of lens type that we can choose from but I'm gonna stick with the 105 millimeter prime and uh, the brightness I will keep it 86 you can uh, you know play with the, the brightness of, uh, of this if you want but I'm gonna keep it like this and the is okay and as you can see this will uh, make it uh, on top of the black layer in here so now i'm gonna uh, change the blending mode of it to multiply and then i'm gonna zoom out and i will press ctrl t and i will make it bigger so it will uh, create this really awesome uh, light that will uh, look like it's coming uh, uh, from behind the, the, the clock and that's what uh, we want so let's rotate it a little bit and let's make it bigger uh, so around here and the piece okay all right now I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit around 70 or 75 all right I think I'm gonna make the opacity a little bit down more around 68 percent and then I'm gonna press ctrl L so I can bring uh, the level adjustment and I will try to brighten it a little bit so get rid of this black in here all right I think it looks good as you can see let's move it a little bit like this Right, now I'm gonna add uh, some brightness to it so I will go and choose brightness and contrast and let's put a little bit of contrast and a little bit of brightness let's make the contrast minus 5 all right as you can see this will make it pop more but I'm gonna reduce uh, the opacity of it to 70 let's see all right I think it looks good now I would go to adjustment and I will choose curves and I will add three points in here I will try to adjust brightness all right now I will go and I will add another curves and this time I will go to the RGB channel in here and I will go for the red and I will add a little bit of the red and I will go to the green and I will add a little bit of green you now to affect uh, the grass and then I will uh, uh, select the layer uh, mask in here and I will grab a brush and with my uh, opacity around 
20% and the floor around 20% I'm gonna start deleting in here so it will affect only the grass in here so I think it looks good Let's put down the opacity a little bit around 80% all right now I will go and I will choose another curves and I will go to the red channel again and I will make a point I will add a little bit of the red let's see and I will go to the blue and let's add a little bit of the blue alright I think this looks good but I'm gonna delete a little bit of it using my brush let's delete this part in here All right, let's add another curve. So we'll go and choose curve. And let's darken the whole. Let's play with the, the contrast. Alright, now we'll go to adjustment and I will choose selective color and I will go to the neutral and I will try to adjust the overall color of everything. Let's bring down the magenta a little bit and let's Add a little bit of yellow. And let's add a little bit of black. And let's go to the black in here. Oops. Let's add the black on everything. That's a bit to make things a little bit darker. Alright, 
Tyler will bring down the opacity around 70% or 75% and let's see alright so now I will go and choose exposure and I will add a little bit of the offset just a bit and the gamma correction bring it down a little bit alright now I'm gonna press ctrl shift alt e so I will make a, a stamp visible layer and then I'm gonna desaturate it so I'm gonna press ctrl shift u and then I will go to filter other and I will choose high pass and I will make about 0 0.5 pixel and then I will change the blending mode to overlay and that will be all for this tutorial I hope that you enjoy and you like this long tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching